Hi folks, I've got to show you what this vinegar's done to these rusty bolts I put in here. Keep watching. Right, and as you know, a week ago we done the uh, the vinegar test for removing rust, and I also plonked a load of bolts in there. If you go back to my last vinegar uh, video, you'll see all the bolts. They was absolutely crudded and rusted up. Now I've still got them in there. I've left them for a week basically with the hinges as well, and I'm just about to pull them out. But I did take some bolts out and give them a preliminary wash. Let me show you how they turned out. Now just take a look at these bolts. These bolts are like brand new bolts. I can't believe it. I'd given up on these bolts and I was about to throw them away and I thought to myself well we'll just see what they turn out like and as you can probably see there they are absolutely brand new bolts I can't believe it this was one I did pick up at the time and I don't know again whether you can see or not there's absolutely nothing on that at all and they've gone back to being factory new what I did do was to just give them a slight wire brush with the uh, the, the, the little brass brush I've got there and as you can see absolutely fantastic now I've pulled the hinges out um, but what I've got to do now is to actually neutralize the acid on these so that I can prepare them for paint so that's what I'm going to do now as you can probably see there if I um, let's get a clean cloth if I just wipe that off like that you can probably see there that there's there's no rust there the rust is completely gone there but what I've got here for example is just a a bucket of um, bicarbonate of soda and water and I'm just going to plonk them in there literally just to neutralize the vinegar so that I can actually spray these just to give them a quick coat of paint whilst I uh, decide what color I'm going to be doing them whilst they're in the storage phase at the moment so there you go that's all I'm doing to them and if I pull it out I will dry these off with an airline so but as you can probably see there They've actually cleaned up superbly when you wipe the residue off the surface. There's the residue which you're left with, but as you can see, when you wipe your hand over it, it, it totally disappears, and you're left with clean uh, bare metal. So I'm real happy with that. So I'm just gonna get the other ones out now and do that, because I really want to get to show you these um, bolts that are still in the bottom here, and we, I'll show you how I've been cleaning them up. So I'm just gonna neutralize these for the moment. As you can see now, they're all moving freely. As you can see, weren't doing that before. So I'm just going to neutralise these and then we'll get the bolts out. Right, okay, I'll clean them off now. I'm just going to dig these bolts out of this vinegar. I've pulled some out already. Now, bearing in mind they've been sitting at the bottom, I've not scrubbed these at all. But let's just have a look and see what we've got. Oh, that vinegar's cold. Right, let's show you. Without doing anything to them at the moment, this is what you can expect to pull out. Right, well, as you can probably see, things like this, for example, they come straight off. I can't believe it. They're just going to require just a neutralisation with the acid. And everything's absolutely perfect. Look, I can't believe it. So just dip them in the water to neutralise the acid. This is, as I say, bicarbonate of soda in there. Give them a little clean down. And there you have a brand new bolt. So that's what I'm left with after the vinegar treatment. These were totally unrecognisable. And let's have a look if I can find that spring. Remember that spring I did originally? Let's neutralize it first. And just give it a bit of a wire brush there. Get the rubbish out. Now this was totally corroded, if you remember rightly. And again, this come off the Reliant Regal. I don't know whether this is the uh, clutch arm spring. I'm not too sure. But uh, this is something which you probably would have had to have rebought or got another one. And as you can see there, come out there, that's totally usable. There's no reason why I can't use that spring again. Absolutely fantastic. Something which was a lot very cruddy, as you can probably see. Oh, let's get that one there, look. This one here, which had loads of gear still on it. And as you can see, I'm just going to dip that, neutralise it. And help it along the way just by cleaning the threads out. This stuff's not on there tightly, it's just where it's been sitting in the bottom. And uh, as you can see, because a lot of people when they do restorations, they do like to use the original bolts. 
and nuts that come with the vehicle if they're not chewed up obviously but as you can see there look that's like a new bolt that is totally usable this might take a little bit of time as you probably know I mean look we've got this one for example uh, nut and bolt and washer and whatever Superb. There we go, look at that. How's that? That's not too bad, is it? And they'll all come up like that, as I say, so I'm very, very happy with that. Right, okay then. It's taken me about 15 minutes to clean them up with a little wire brush but uh, as I say if these were nuts and bolts you can't readily get hold of this is what they can turn out like just by cleaning or soaking in vinegar let's show you well I don't know whether you remember them when they first went in there uh, I picked a handful up if you look at the previous video but I'm sure you'll see that uh, they've actually cleaned up absolutely fantastic and are totally usable so all I'll do now uh, to save these obviously going rusty again I'll just put them in a little container give them a soak with some WD-40 all over Do a bit of a mix around and literally just store them but as you can see absolutely lovely all cleaned up a treat the one thing to realize as well is that vinegar as I said is an acid so it is quite important to have a solution of baking soda to neutralize the acid uh, and that's actually what I've done here so simple product most of your cleaning or any aggressive sort of cleaning products that uh, can remove rust like this have normally got some sort of acid base and this is a household product which is not dangerous at all it's not like any sulfuric acid or anything like that so I do recommend it after using it this is the first time I've used it I've used a few other techniques as well as I said in the last video but this very good indeed so that's a substance I'll be using a hell of a lot uh, all I'll do is I'll strain this out and put it back in the original container and obviously use it again for future projects it's only £3.50 for a 5 litre container so I'm happy with that I've not done too much at the moment as you know we've uh, we've been enjoying some family time and um, but I just thought I'd come in here and show you this little thing I know that you watched the last Rust video and you see that but I'm going to be starting up the uh, little Piaggio project, if, if you remember from about three years ago. And those of you who have been on the channel for long enough will know that I bought this as a, a, a bike that I was going to restore and do up. But basically my brother wants it now, so um, we're going to just take the engine out of it. I've, I've basically stripped it down. If you go to a Piaggio playlist, Piaggio Vespa, you'll see the first strip down of this uh, bike basically. So um, it has some dents in the side which I did fill, and uh, as you know, it's been just sitting in and around uh, the garden area, so it's gonna need a bit more refurbishment now. We're gonna be changing the color of it, it's gonna be going black, and also tidying up the chrome, not the chrome, tidying up the uh, the bits that have all festered, the aluminium and stuff like that, giving them a repaint and stuff like that. So this is coming up very, very shortly. We're still doing the Reliant Regal, as you know, at the moment. I'm waiting to get back down there. I've not had a chance to do that at the moment. We've been busy with family time and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so there's not really much going on at the moment, but um, this is coming up very, very shortly. So if you're interested in this, do check out the playlist. Keep watching the videos. Give us a thumbs up and a subscribe as well, if you don't mind. Uh, we do like you old subscriptions there, and you can ring that little bell next to it. Click on the little bell, and every time we upload a video, you'll get a notification that we've got a new video up anyway. This was just a little info video, a little update vlog to see what I'm up to, up to at the moment, which isn't very much. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.